good morning. Today I'm going to be teaching you about another Math Learning Center app that you can use to help students who are working with remote learning at home uh, visualize what's happening in mathematics. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the number rack. So if you haven't watched any of these videos before, you just put in a Google search for Math Learning Center apps. So I'll show that to you right now. Math Learning Center apps. And it will bring you to this page on Google. And then you just click on that free math apps and it's gonna bring you here. Then if you scroll down, you will find the number rack one right here. And that's what we're gonna to go to today. If you click on the name, the number rack, it's gonna bring you to a site that teaches you about the number rack. So if you wanted another tutorial, it's right there. If you don't wanna do that and you wanna go directly to the app, then you need to make sure that you press this right here that says open web app. So if we open the web app, we get a picture that looks like this. And a lot of people think this is an abacus. Well, a number rack, or otherwise known as a reckon rack, is a way for students to visualize working with numbers. And here we have a number rack set up for 20. And it's set up in different colors because each different color represents five. And so we really want students to be understanding that five and 10 are really important landmark numbers to be working with. And in this case, it's set up in the home position. So all the beads are over here on your screen on the right-hand side. And as students move over beads, this is the number they're creating over here. So if I move over, let's say I bring over all five beads, then I'm representing the number five. Or if I bring over three more, shows five and three is eight. So I've got eight on one side and two on the other side. And then students, when they play around with this, start to make relationships about 10. So this would be great if you wanted to use this and have students figure out how many different ways can they make 10. Um, because right here we can see that eight and two adds up to that 10 total. Um, they can play around with this. They can also see eight is five plus three more. Then take one away. Eight is five plus, I mean seven is five plus two more. So they can play around with that a lot. Um, so you can do lots with addition with this, and it gives you a visual tool to work with. You can also work on it as subtraction. So if I have 7 and I take away 3, how many are left over? You can see I have 4 left over there. So then you can also get into numbers bigger than 10. So I know a lot of kindergartners in the springtime start to work on teen numbers. So if I have 10 and I have 3 more, that would be 10 and three more is 13. So they can see the relationship there. That's 10 and we're adding three more. Then when we get above 15, you can see they can start to see, well, wait a minute. I've got three fives here, five, 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 and one more, and it makes 16. So they can start to see those relationships. So it might be fun to just play around with this app a little bit with your students at home and see what they come up with. Now, you're not limited to just this one situation. If you wanted to remove a rack and just deal with the number 10, that's what the subtraction part uh, button down bottom is. If you want to add more, though, let's say that you want to work with some larger numbers. You want to work within the number 30 or 40. You can keep adding to your racks so that you can represent larger numbers. So let's say you have... Um, a second grader who's working on adding two digit numbers. You might be doing something like, all right, I've got 22, and then you're gonna add on 10 to that, and then you can have them play around with this a little bit more. Um, other things we have on here, this button right here, um, it covers things up. So you can move this around to cover different parts of the number rack. So one of the things you could do is when you're playing with this, and I'll go back to the simple 10 rack that we had before. Um, and I'll move these over. Kind of play games where, you know, you cover up something and the student has to guess what's on the other side. And this has to do with their knowledge about what makes 10. So if they have a group that's covered up, but they know they have four on the other side, can they figure out that it's six that's underneath there? And then we can press on this and it will reveal what's underneath that. So that's another way that you can use this app to try to test the student's knowledge um, about what they know about numbers. All of these apps have this little button here where you can be 
writing equations. So if you wanted to write 7 plus 3 equals 10, done. You can have them write 7 plus 3 more. You can see that's 10. Or if we do it another way, 7 plus 3 more, and that equals 10. If you click away, you can move this wherever you want to on the screen. Um, if you want to be doing some writing in here, you know, I saw seven and three more was ten. You can have students work on their writing skills here too, so that they can, um, they probably don't have Grammarly on their computer like I do that just fix that automatically, but you can have them um, write about what they made there. This is a drawing tool. Um, I'm going to have to move my screencaster over so you can all see it. So this drawing tool right here, you can, um, if you click on one of the, like I say, you have to click on the pen and you wanted to have them circle the groups that they saw the seven and the three, you can use the pen that way. This pen makes straight lines. So let's say you wanted to have them split up the fives. You could have them use the straight line tool for that. This changes the color of our pen. So if you wanted to circle a five and whoops, I got to change my pen to a different type of pen. If I wanted to circle this group right here in a different color, just change it. Uh, this is an eraser. So if I want to make some want to make something go away, just drag the eraser over it. Or if I want to erase the whole thing that I've just drawn, I can click on clear drawing and then all my drawing goes away. So that's what that tool is. All right, moving down along, this tool right here is um, a share code. And I am not familiar with this. So I'm going to have to do some research and find out some more about what the share code is. So for the time being, I'm not sure about what the key is for. This little picture right here, again, you can share your work. So I think this might be a new feature that the Math Learning Center is adding because a lot of people are working with Seesaw and they want to save their images. And so I'm really excited to see actually this pop up today because I haven't seen this before. But it looks like you can copy the link and save your work and then send it to your teacher, which is really super cool. I'll have to investigate if the other apps have that there. And if you ever need information, oh, looks like I have some meetings coming up. If you ever need some information on any of these, you click on the little I button, it will tell you how these things work and it gives you a little bit information about um, the app and the, the tools that are available. All right, so that is an introduction to the Math Learning Center. I hope you enjoy learning about the Number Rack app, and I hope you can use it with your student at home as you work on remote learning.